Welcome to YouTube video for this 2006 Holiday Rambler Navigator Model 43 PBQ. It's a one owner, traded in our Prevo dealership in Florida. We just got it. Really nice model. In mean, this video, the purpose of the video is to show you good and bad. Oh, bad and ugly, all the stuff. It's a 10-year-old motorhome with a plenty of life left in this motorhome with only 55,000 miles, about 780 hours. Windshield looks free from any damage, I, I can see here. Oh, that's just a little scrub, no cracks or star cracks. The 3M film in the front is not bad as you have seen some other motorhomes, they get really bad. Got a couple of scratches here and there, but uh, uh, let's see, everything else look good. Uh, let me show you the generator. It, it'll slide out here. So push up a button, it goes out, and uh, and a push up a button, it'll go go back in. Got about 761 hours on a 10,000 watts Onan big generator. It'll come out more. I just got it out partially. This is a flagship of Holiday Rambler. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the top of the line. It's almost equal to a uh, Monaco Signature. Take a look at all the windows. are not fogged up. Some of the Fleetwood competition of this motorhome. Uh, they'll have foggy windows, et cetera, issue. We don't have any of that issue. All the windows are clean. No, no fogging going on. 3M film is in better shape than some others. All right, we got a 2012 or 13 date code Bridgestone tires, so let's take it away. No, no, no tires expense in this equation. Good tires. You probably still got next three, four, five years to use it. So good solid tires, no dry rider crack. They're 12 or 13, so they're two, three years old. Uh, we got four slide outs, got electric awning everywhere. They all work, as you can see. Exterior body's in really good shape. The black part don't have that delamination. Very hard to see if you see anything really good shape of course it's not free from any complete no 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 damage at all got a couple of scratches here uh, look at the interior i'm in a basement compartment very clean awesome maybe locked here we got uh, this one is locked too uh, it has a wet base so sewer connection it's got the uh, Electric 50 amp power cord comes out. Electric, it's got electric motor, so it comes in and out. Tag axle coach. It's 43 and a half feet long. Look at the bedroom slide. It's pretty. It's huge, so it gives you lots of room. Again, please take a look at all my pictures. No D lamb. Take a look at this coach from far away. Anyhow, you cut it. It's about 10 years old motorhome, but it's in well maintained, good shape, and it was a trade up. They traded in and bought a Prevo. So they went up. By the way, some of these navigators came with a 525 Cummins or other option. This one's got the Detroit Series 60, which is most popular engine option. This engine, as you see on this big 18 wheeler, is running up and down on the highway. Detroit Diesel Series 60. Uh, you can go about a million miles with no problem. This one having only 55,000 miles. This motor I'm just broken in. Take a look at this. I mean, in really nice shape. It's a black. Kind of dark gray champagne striping. All right, what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go up top and check out the uh, uh, roof. See how what condition it's in. We're on top of the roof. Take a look at it. It's a one-piece fiberglass roof. No seam in between. So it's a one-piece. Got a solar panel, three roof air conditioners. All the caulking seems to be in good shape. That's your. Uh, this thing is. Um, the wind sensor for if it wind picks up, the awning would go in automatically. Got us some kind of a in motion automatic satellite dish. Take a look at all the caulking, really good shape. So no worries on the roof. Really good condition roof. All the roof condition roof air conditioners, shrouds are like a color matched. Looks like the back one must have been changed. But they all work. And it's about a 9800 degree on top of the roof right now. And uh, below the coach, it's ice, really cold. So everything works. Roof is in good shape. Let's go back down and continue our video. So we just came off the roof. Roof is in good shape. It's got a 10 or 15,000 pound towing capacity Reese Type 3 hitch. It may be just 10,000. Just check all my description and pictures. 
Uh, again, really nice shaped back cap. Uh, may just have very minor stress crack here, I see. Uh, some of the things are hard to see, um, even in the video. Again, the black part is really nice. Looks like backside may be painted here. It's got very, very minor D-lamb. D-lamb means not the uh, coming undone from the wall, but the paint D-lamb. Uh, very minor, you can't even see it. So, you know, you walk away three feet, now I can't see it. So, uh, that's how it is. All right, we, we got some coach batteries. By the way, there are new batteries. We install all new batteries, Duracell, uh, AC Delco, new batteries. Got Alco aluminum wheels, tag axle. Once again, they're 2012, 2013 date code. Please take a look at all my pictures. Uh, nothing major damage, just a couple of scratches you saw on the other side. It's got aqua hot heating system. Works like a champ. We just had it checked out by RV Tech. So it'll be uh, ready to go. Take a look at this pass through storage. Uh, here we have a, a power tray. So push of a button, it comes out. We've got two boxes of uh, owner's manuals and uh, all the papers that come with the motorhome is right there in those two plastic bags. More underbelly storage. We even have a manual awning rod. Look at all the uh, condition of the under basement. Really good condition, not abused, just the used. That's the diesel tank here. It's a 150 gallon tank. So you get one tank of a, a fuel, you'll get six, seven, eight hundred miles, depending on your driving condition. It does have a Eton uh, Vorad. They call it vehicle collision avoiding system, avoidance system. So if the car is next to you, you're trying to change a lane, this sensor would beep inside and uh, also have a active cruise control, I believe. So a uh, uh, collision, they call vehicle collision avoidance system in it. Take a look at it, it's a beautiful coach. I think it was sold somewhere roughly around half a million dollars. Here's your chance to own it, a partial of it. All righty, wow. Whew, that's ice cold here. Feels so nice. So this is Eaton Borad system. It'll, it'll light up uh, green, blue, yellow. I think it goes from yellow to uh, green to blue, red as you get closer. All right, let's start from a cockpit. Three-way, four-way, whatever they call it. It's got a seat heater in them. Uh, it's got lumbar support. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's, it's got all kinds of gadgets. Uh, even memory, so you got a memory seats. Uh, good shape. No excessive wear or any tears. Uh, well, well maintained. All right, uh, let me grab the keys here. It also has a remote entry coming in and out of the motorhome. All right, let's see this. It's got smart steering wheel. I'm gonna fire this baby up here. Fired right up. That is the Eaton Vorad um, green light means we're not about to hit anybody. 55,380 miles. Uh, last trip we had 2,089 miles. Um, the fuel, oil pressure, trans temperature, water temperature all located here. We got turbo boost here, front rear PSI. Um, and this is like a low RPM meter. This is a Detroit diesel. I mean, it's a, a Mac daddy of the diesel engines. All right, we got HW8 leveling jacks. Look how it works. You hit it once and hit it a second time, and it's you probably couldn't hear in the video, but I hear the air releasing. Psh, it just and it levels the coach up automatically. Okay, so uh, that's that's that. We also have a hydraulic levelers which is almost redundant. You got air leveling. You don't need a, a hydraulic levers. They work, but the rear two jacks are sticking and they're hard to come back up. Uh, either they need to be uh, serviced or replaced. That could cost thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand. These are heavy duty hydraulic levelers. Fronts are okay. Two rear are sticking. They won't come back up. So we just stick to the air leveling. A lot of these big coaches like Prevo, they just have air leveling. So this is almost redundant, but if you wanted it, you're gonna have to fix rear two jacks. All right, we got a uh, six-speed Allison, got a light-in system here. Uh, I'll show you in the back too. It checks all your monitoring system, got side view cameras, you turn signal, it shows you on side, uh, and all that stuff. Let's see. Let me get 
the source. All right, so we got a, uh, we got the, uh, so we got a uh, here engine transmission status, coach electronic. Uh, these are the cameras. So all the diagnosis is right here with the a lot in system. We got the exhaust brake, which is a uh, two stage. Let's see, brake high and low. Mirror heat, six speed, four thousand transmission. We got tag axle pickup. I mean, I can go on and on in very small detail, but uh, so that's the cockpit area. We got a smart steering wheel, uh, air horn. We got electric shades that come down, up and down. Let's see. Uh, he's got city horn as well. Uh, pedal in and out. He's got lots of buttons. You're gonna have to learn all that. Windshield, look at the view of it. Really nice panoramic windshield. Uh, it does have a button I have not operated. You can open, close and shut slide with this remote control. I don't know why would you want to do it. It's got buttons here. Over here we have a DVD, VCR, a sharp home theater system. It's HDMI. Uh, it's got the dish up on top. You need your own receiver. Uh, 10 CD multi disc player. Look at the wood, it's really nice hardwood. All right, here we're looking at TV, talking about entertainment. Push of a button, it goes up. And push of a button, it'll come down. Well, I'll just get it up all the way. A very neat feature. All right. That could be an older TV. You may want to put another uh, HD TV or get a uh, digital converter. I would, I would put a new TV. I'm not sure if it's an older version of TV. Uh, got privacy curtain. Take a look at it. In really good shape. Not, not mildewy or uh, water stain. Take a look at it. So there are lots of good stuff, and there are some bad stuff, as you uh, heard me talking about. Some because it is a 2006. Anyhow, we cut it as a 10-year-old used motorhome with a 50,000 miles. But I'm proud of this privacy curtain. They're not, some of them I've seen, they have a mildew and, not mildew, but I would say stain from a heat um, and cold and all that, and people don't take care of it. So this seems to be in really good shape. By the way, passenger seat has a um, electric footrest that comes up and down. A really nice feature for a co-pilot. There's still power seat, lumbar seats, heated seat, all that. I'm going to take my shoes off. Got a designer carpet in the living room. We've got two leather sofas on both sides. This sofa will pull out and become a bed right here, so it'll be a big bed. This one, I don't know if it opens up or not. Yes, it does too. Uh, I got some drawer underneath. Nice carpet, no stains. Not anything, I see anything big here. We got electric shades, and let me show you how that works. Push of a button, it'll go up and down. Shades up, there it goes. Shades up, shades down. Everything works. Over here, we have these two electric shades. They work from right here. It's got all the buttons located up here. These are manual day and night shades right here. So we got some electric and some manual. Uh, boots, I mean this extension would come out, then you can put extension here, and uh, so you can allow four person to sit here instead of just two. Uh, nice uh, counter space, more cabinet under here. Lots of cabinet re up here. Take a look at the woodwork, beautiful. Like I said earlier, this is a Holiday Rambler, it's top of the line, flagship of motorhome. This is where the buck stops. Nice kitchen area, consists of KitchenAid two burner gas stove. We got dual sinks here with a pull out sprayer. This is a deep one. We got instant hot water, soap dispenser. Uh, lots of cabinetry underneath with a slide out tray for trash or whatever you would like to put in here. More storage. 
drawers and they're deep storage. We also have a sliding uh, island, so we have a more counter space here. Uh, and there are stuff you can put on the side right here. It's got a cutting board here. Over here, more counter space. Spice cabinet, if you would call that. Lots of cabinet right here. We've got a Whirlpool gold side-by-side -side electric refrigerator. That's a neat thing. That's what's going thing nowadays. With an ice maker. Wow, it feels good. <laughs> it is hot today, and we're still doing a video. Got lights here, got a pocket door. And come on through here. I think the kitchen area was only one or two tile, had a very, very minor hair crack right here. Uh, no big deal. There may be some extra tile back there. Um, tile in the bathroom looks really nice. We got a glass enclosed shower with a, a real Korean top or Korean kind of a whatever you call it porcelain walls really nice and I'm I'm six feet tall I like to show you everything this is a tall coach you could be almost seven feet six eleven you'll fit in and take shower here no problem there I'll lock this up so when you're traveling what do you do you take this and uh, lock it in so this thing won't slide back and forth lots of counter space three four medicine cabinets it's winterized right now the coach has been winterized we have not de-winterized it yet it's got if you could see accent light on the bottom so it's got lights everywhere over here to the right coming from front to the back we have a private toilet with the lots of lightings lights underneath got some cabinets Madison cabinet so it's his and her two sinks that's a, a nice feature got another pocket door here that gives you complete privacy by the way this pocket door has a mirror behind it take a look at it and you can close it get complete privacy back here bedroom consists of a king-size bed I believe we're going to change this bed, put another mattress here because this side of a, uh, his and her sleep number bed is not inflating good. We're going to toss this and get a new 10-inch uh, bed or we'll talk about that in the price. Um, it's not a big deal. You can buy them on Amazon Prime for like 300 bucks. Got mood lights on top, got a mirror on top. Really big bedroom as you can see here. Uh, TV goes in and out. Uh, again, that's probably the original TV. You could put a bigger TV. It comes out all the way. You could probably put a wider TV. And it goes in and out like that. We've got lots of drawers here. Uh, laundry chute. More cabinets here. It's got a VCR DVD player. More cabinet. Back here, deep cabinets here. You can full time in this motorhome, 43 and a half feet with a four slide. Got washer dryer combo. Uh, back here, we got a big coat closet. There is an extension leaf for the back bedroom. More cabinet. Take a look at it here. This is where the uh, Aladdin system is. I had it on earlier. So you can check your monitoring, like all the tanks and stuff from here. Uh, a little tricky, it was on earlier, but we'll go through that. Very clean coach. Carpets, no stains over here. We got another, take a look at this. Like a hidden, all kinds of hidden stuff. I believe uh, this counter space, it's when the slide comes in, it comes on top and this door goes back. 
marvelous design. Under the bed, let's see, it's got some room and uh, I believe he's got a safe. Indeed, he's got a safe and some uh, drawers that you could put some stuff under here and slide it back and forth. They've done lots of little secret drawers and stuff in this motorhome. We're about to conclude this video on this 2006 Holiday Rambler Navigator model 43 PBQ or PDQ. Take a look at all my pictures. Got any questions, please text me or email me. I prefer email communication or, uh, or, or text. My text number is 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. Please text me. If you must call me, leave me a message and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Thank you for watching my video and Hope to earn your business. Have a great day.